Mike from Elfish Productions. And driving the Jeep is cool and all, but even better at driving it with the top down. So today we're going to show you how to take down the soft top on the Jeep Wrangler 2012 edition. Taking off the soft top consists of four parts. First is the windows, then it's the back window, then it's taking down the top itself, and then strapping everything down and putting it all away. First you're going to start with the side window. You're going to rip away the Velcro. Then you're going to locate the zipper, which is on the inside. Unzipper it all the way. Open the back door so that you can get away the ceiling, which is for the back. Pull it towards you. Make sure that this comes off. And then store this somewhere. Once you've taken off the driver's side or the passenger side back window, move over to the opposite side and do the exact same thing. The process is exactly the same except everything's reversed. Store this in the place that you stored the other back window. Out of the back three windows, the back windshield is the hardest to take off, so take your time and take it slow. First thing you want to do is open the gate so that you can get a better look at the window. Then you want to come over and take the zipper and zipper it all the way from the right over to the left. Then you want to remove these two flaps. These flaps can be kind of hard, so just, just get your finger in there and remove them. Then with this, you want to roll the bar back, take it out. You want to move inside the car so you can undo the hooks above the visors. Move the visors out of the way, pull the hook towards you, and then press the two hooks together so that it forms a little tight crevice. Next thing you want to do is you want to take the main part of the soft top off. So you're going to lift up on one of the corners, and you're going to fold it back so that it forms a W within the creases. After you fold over the first part of the soft top, you want to move to the back so that you can take off the two back ends. What you want to do with these is you want to pull straight down so that it unhooks from this little part here. Once these are off, to make folding a lot easier, you want to fold these on top here. Make sure they stay. This is where the one person thing becomes a little troublesome, is when you're taking down the soft top itself. So what you want to do to combat this problem is you want to unhook it from where it is if you have a four door. And you want to place it so that it's not technically in the hook itself. You want to do the same thing on the other side, making sure that you don't put the hook back in there because it's going to make it harder for you when it's coming down. Now you want to take the soft top down itself. But the one person thing that's going to be kind of an issue when you're taking it all down and making it very nice and neat, but we're going to correct that problem later. So what you want to do, you want to put one hand up here so that it holds the flap down, and then you want to drag this end down, and in there like that. Push it all down so that it's down out of the rear view mirror. This is where the one person thing became a problem, because we were not able to put these flaps tightly within the soft top itself. So what you're going to do is you kind of, kind of lift up on the soft top and just kind of shove the flaps in there so that they're out of the way and not flapping in the wind. Tuck in everything nice and neat before you close the gate on the Jeep. You're almost ready to ride. There's only a couple more things you need to do. You need to put these straps so that the soft top isn't flying around when you're on the highway. Along the end rails of your Jeep, you're going to find some slotted holes. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a Velcro strip like this that should have been supplied to you when you got the soft top. And you're going to put the rough side through because it's easier. Bring it through. Bring it around part of the soft top. And then down onto the other side of the Velcro. Get 
nice and tight down. Believe it or not, that will actually hold it when you're on the highway, so you wouldn't have to worry about the soft top flying out of your car. After two or three times, you'll be a pro on taking a soft top down by yourself. Till next time, I'm Mike from Hellfish Productions. We'll see you.